Hi guys, hi guys, how you doing? Hi, I'm Nutrix the Synth Guy and today we're talking about ripples from Utable Instrument. Utable Instrument, you have to know them if you are looking into modular synthesis. They're a big name, they have a lot of stuff that they're doing, they're really cool. Really people trust their quality and what they do. And the one I have to play with today is Ripples. Ripples is a simple one, but I can do a lot with this. A lot of these, you know, modular synthesis modules, they're simple yet very powerful. So this one is a filter. Simple filter, but it sounds good. It does self-oscillation. So it will become its own sine wave if you want. And it can become really cool for that. It has, it's very simple in a way. I mean, you've got the cutoff, cutoff button, you get the resonance, you get a flip between two pole and four pole, two inputs for the signal. So you've got a line in two and you've got an input one. And the input two, it's just like, there's no gain, there's no volume for it. It just is the volume you're sending into it, whereas the one as a volume, so you can drive it up. So it depends on the type of signal you're sending in. You might choose which one you want of the two. You have, of course, control for voltage over the octave to control the, the frequency of the cutoff point and how much you want that value to affect this. We'll do that. And again, another controller or CV gate to control how much resonance you want. And the output is basically three different filters. So you've got a high pass, you have a peak filter, and you have a low pass. So let's actually connect just a low pass and try this for fun. I've got this little, I love this little thing, the Novation Circuit Mono Station. It's, a, it's analog, you've got, uh, I'm going to send the envelope to control the filter cutoff point. So if I, if I, right now, if I don't use anything else outside of just actually playing it, I've got this sound going through this. really no extra stuff. It's just the sound going in. If I want to hear the high pass, I can record this. This is nice, nice sounding. Just and if you go too high, you get self isolation to the point that. If I stop it, this is just like, I can disconnect and this is it. It's just, the filter is self oscillating. So let's actually now add a little fun here. I'm going to take the output of the, I connect it to the aux output and then this is going to be the one I'm going to be recording. So what I'm having here. I'm going to go back to the session I had earlier, this one. So now this is assigned to, so this now is sent to the auxiliary, which is CV gate, CV into this one, and this I've got here. Closed instead of open opening. I remember that we have this become self isolating to the point that if I don't have any sound coming in, if I get rid of the audio in. What I'm 
playing right now, I'm playing just the oscillation of... <laughs> can make it like a kick drum at one point. So the filter by itself becomes an oscillator, uh, an oscillator would as, in this case I've got the envelope like... So my... So yes it's a filter, or it's a drum, it's a kick drum if you want. That's what's fun about this. So yeah, it's a filter, but it's much more powerful. Now, this is the low pass. Let's switch to the high pass. It goes the other way. I'm gonna put back some signal in it, so you hear. One thing that is pretty cool is I like to take like one, put it on one side, like the high pass on one side, and the low pass on the other side. Gives you a stereo effect that is like weird. That's it. Whoops. So that's pretty cool. It's it's a simple yet very powerful module for filter that is more than just a filter in a way because you can make it self-isolate. It can become your sine wave. It's just simple, sounds good, easy to work, and the fact that it does self-oscillation makes it really interesting. Cool. That's it. Stay safe. Make more music. Again, if you like what I'm doing, thumb up and share it with your friends. Put question below. Stay safe, people. Make more music. Cheers.